Hi friends today we will study motion and measurement of distances part 1 friends we see many things around us like tree a house school factory electric poles and telephone poles etc which are stationary objects and these objects remain at a fixed place whereas on the other hand a man animals birds car ship and aeroplane etc do not remain stationary all the time and they can move from one place to another the movement of an object is called motion an object is said to be in motion or moving when it changes its position with time for example a moving car at position a in front of a house at a particular time will be at position b after 5 seconds which is little far from the house if an object moves fairly fast then its movement or motion can be observed easily but if it moves very slowly then it becomes difficult to observe its movement immediately for example if we see a wrist watch it has a second hand minute hand and hour hand now the second hand moves quickly so we can observe the movement of second hand easily we will have to keep observing the position of minute hand and hour hand for quite some time to find out their movement In science when an object is stationary or not moving it is said to be at rest thus a house and tree for example are said to be at rest types of motion the motion of all the objects are not of the same type different objects show different types of motions some of the important types of motions are rectilinear motion circular motion rotational motion and periodic motion Let us discuss all these types of motions in detail one by one. Rectilinear motion. Motion in a straight line is called as a rectilinear motion. For example, when a bullet is fired from a gun, the bullet moves in a straight line. So the movement of a bullet fired from a gun is an example of rectilinear motion. The motion of a cyclist running on a straight road is also a rectilinear motion. Motion of a train on a straight track is also a rectilinear motion the motion of a falling stone is a rectilinear motion rectilinear motion takes place in a fixed direction circular motion a round path having the shape of a circle is called a circular path when an object moves along a circular path it is called circular motion for example the moon moves around the earth in a circular path So the movement of moon around the earth is an example of circular motion. Similarly, the movement of earth around the sun and also the movement of other planets around the sun is also in a circular motion. The other examples of circular motions are tip of hands of watch, the end of the blades of a fan and a child sitting on a merry-go-round. Rotational motion. When an object turns or spins about a fixed axis is called a rotational motion for example a spinning top moves round and round on its axis so top is an example of rotational motion our earth also spins along its axis so earth is an example of rotational motion the other example of rotational motion is rotation of a windmill turning of a potter's wheel and turning of a bicycle wheel Here it is important to note that the difference between circular motion and rotational motion is that in circular motion an object as a whole travels along a circular path but in rotational motion the object spins on its axis periodic motion the motion which repeats itself after a regular intervals of time is called as periodic motion the second hand of a watch takes the same time to complete each round so the motion of second hand of a watch is an example of a periodic motion similarly the revolution of earth around the sun is a periodic motion because earth always takes the same amount of time that is one year to complete one round around the sun also revolution of moon around the earth is also a periodic motion a pendulum consists of a small metal ball called bob suspended by a long thread from a rigid support such that the bob is free to swing back and forth the movement of a pendulum from one point to another and back is also a periodic movement similarly 
a swing also shows a periodic motion the musical instruments such as sitar or guitar have stretched strings which produce sound when plucked also at the same time the string produces a to and fro vibration and produces a periodic motion objects having more than one type of motion friends some of the objects may have combination of two or more different types of motion this will become clear from the following examples earth earth moves around the sun so it has a circular motion and earth repeats its motion around the sun after a regular interval of time that is one year so it has a periodic motion too also earth rotates on its axis so it has a rotation motion in this way earth has three types of motions at the same time merry go round if we consider merry go round as a whole then it shows a rotational motion because it turns on an axle but the outer part of merry go round shows circular motion in this way merry go round has two types of motion at the same time bicycle suppose a bicycle is moving on a straight road the wheels of bicycle is rotating on its axle and also moving forward in a straight line so a bicycle has a rotational motion and rectilinear motion at the same time sewing machine the sewing machine has a wheel which rotates on an axle so the wheel of a sewing machine shows a rotational motion the sewing machine also has a needle which moves up and down continuously the needle of a sewing machine undergoes a periodic motion in this way sewing machine has two types of motions at the same time the story of transport to carry people and goods from one place to another is called transport very long ago people did not have any means of transport so in ancient times people used to move on foot or animals and carried goods themselves or they used animals for this purpose for example the ancient people used to travel on a horse back and camel backs etc and also used these animals for carrying heavy goods in ancient times people used boats for transport along water routes such as rivers initially the boats were made of simple logs of wood in which a hollow cavity was made for people to sit and carry goods later on people learned to join together planks of wood to make boats having streamlined shapes the invention of wheel made a great change in the modes of transport the wheels were used in making the transport vehicles such as bullock carts horse carts and camel carts etc these animals were used to pull the vehicles which moved on wheels the invention of wheel also led to the development of bicycle as a popular mode of transport in the beginning of 19th century the invention of steam engine introduced a new source of power to run transport vehicles steam engines were used to pull trains on the railroads for carrying people and goods from one place to another steam engines were also used to run ships in the beginning the steam engine is called external combustion engine because the fuel for making steam was burned outside the engine the invention of internal combustion engine in second half of 19th century gave us transport vehicles called automobiles such as cars buses trucks motorcycles etc for travel on land motorized boats and ships were developed as means of transport on water such as rivers and seas aeroplanes were developed as a means of transport on the early 20th century aeroplanes now carry a lot of passengers and goods worldwide helicopters were also made as a means of traveling by air electric trains monorail supersonic aeroplanes and spacecrafts are also some of the 20th century contribution to the modes of transport friends that's all about the first part of motions and measurement chapter in second part of the video we will study distances and its measurements thank you for watching the video hope you liked it please do like share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notifications on new videos thank you and all the best